Hey everybody, Tim Coates here with Ethos, and today I want to talk about our graphene matrix coating and some of its technologies a little bit more in depth. So now that our coating has been out in the market and others have entered the marketplace in the last couple months, there's been much more buzz about graphene. And with that buzz has been some speculation, some disinformation, and some other companies coming out with information that may not be applicable to our technology. So I want to discuss that a little bit further. As discussed in our other videos, our graphene matrix coating is a graphene coating. It's an evolution on ceramic coatings. And the fact that graphene itself cannot be bonded to a substrate. There has to be a chemical process that goes that's underway in order to make it sol solvency applicable to a hand applied coating. Much like a silica can't be applied to a vehicle finish, it has to be oxidized in a form of a metal oxide like a silica dioxide in order to make it into a solvency that can then be hand applied. Otherwise, you need a big oven to melt the glass onto the surface, let it cool, and do its thing. So the reduced graphene oxide we use is done in a very similar manner. There has to be a carrier system and a delivery system that attaches it to the vehicle surface, whether it's your glass, your paint, plastics, that kind of thing. So I think that is confusing people. They're assuming that because it, it, it uses a similar delivery system, that it is just a ceramic coating with graphite. Um, there's an article in particular that just came out today discussing this in detail, saying that the ceramic coatings, uh, or the graphene coatings that are entering the market are simply ceramic coatings with graphite. That is not true, at least speaking about our graphene matrix coating. Our graphene matrix coating is a reduced graphite oxide, metal oxide of graphene, that is then dispersed into solvency as we discussed. It is not a graphite added to a ceramic coating. That I agree with. If companies are coming out with a graphene coating or a ceramic coating that they're calling graphene, and they are simply just adding graphite to the solution, then that would be applicable. That would not be technically a graphene coating. So I think the term has been thrown around. There's been some vocabulary being used that's used to describe kind of the science and the chemistry behind it, and not much understanding about really what's going on and what is possible. I can tell you that this coating is a process of many, many years of hard work from our chemistry team, our science team, and research and development. Uh, it's not something that we've just, you know, put together in, in a garage somewhere and, and mix some things up. It's been a team effort through years of, of hard work and processes, and there's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into making this a reality. And I think the most important thing to consider is that we would not be releasing uh, graphene coating if we didn't believe that there were some advantages to the marketplace. You know, there, we have the technology to offer a ceramic coating, and we will be releasing the ceramic coating here very shortly, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but in order for us to call something a newer technology, it's gotta be different. You know, otherwise, kind of like what's going on with people who are trying to find out what's, what the truth is and what's a fad, if this really was just a fad and it was something that wasn't genuine, the marketplace, and you guys would surely find it out. I think what's most important is that the results will show through. You know, everyone that's experienced the coating, that has experience with other ceramic coatings will see that there is a difference. There is an application difference, uh, performance difference, that the results will you know, speak for themselves. And I think that's a big point that is being missed here. You know, there's so much time and effort being spent on just focusing on the technical vocabulary of the product, uh, what it is and what it isn't. And they're not focusing on how great this is for the industry, that we're seeing an evolution of ceramic coatings. We're seeing innovation in the marketplace. And that's a win-win for anyone involved, whether you're a detailer or you're a consumer looking to install this you know, in your garage. The results are getting better, they're becoming easier to use. You know, so whether it's a graphene coating or if it's a cotton candy infused coating, I don't think it really matters what's in it. You know, we should really be focusing on the results and not so much time you know, arguing about the technicalities of it all. You know, so I'm here to tell you guys that the product is a real genuine technology. Uh, it's innovation that didn't come easily. It's something that you know I think it'll become very apparent in the, in the short term here, and you know, once more people start using the product and getting results with it, that it is a real product. And I think a lot of the companies that are coming out with information that you know might not might not be the most accurate towards our technology, uh, will sh surely find that out in the very near future that this is you know a genuine product. It is something that is real, and we do stand behind it. You know, that being said, it's not bulletproof. It's not the end all be all of coatings on the market. It is the first generation of graphene technology and it will continue to get better over time. It will continue to evolve and, and new technologies will come into the marketplace. So 
But what, what's most exciting about this is that you know ceramic coatings when they first came out, you know, looking at seven, eight years ago, for example, compared to coatings you have now, now you have a consumer retail coating you can buy pretty much at Pet Boys that would smash any other professional only coating seven or eight years ago. You know, so it's taken a very long time to to refine ceramic technology. And when ceramic technology first came to the market, we we're seeing a very similar kind of conspiracy theory about what it was and what it wasn't. And is around long enough to start proving its its uh, you know place in the marketplace. And I think graphene will be a very similar thing for the companies that do offer a real uh, graphene oxide technology and and aren't just trying to catch the marketing and buzzword behind it. So you know, it is something I think will you know serve its purpose. And it's not a replacement for ceramics yet. I, I, I think there still is definitely a place for ceramic coatings and ceramic based products as graphene continues to improve and continues to get better. So anyways, guys, just wanted to go over some of those uh, factors and stuff we've been seeing here and there, um, videos and articles that come out uh, about the graphene and the technologies in it. I'd love to hear from you guys though. If you've used our graphene matrix coating and you've installed other ceramic coatings so you have experience with both, Please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your experience and see the results that you're seeing with the technology. You know, I think that's what's most important here is that people do see this as an opportunity to, to get better results but, you know, easier than before. And it's all becoming kind of diluted and, and um, hidden behind all of the vocabulary and, and nonsense going on, which I think just detracts from the innovation and the technology itself. And a little frustrating for us as a manufacturer to, to come out with a new technology that's I mean, our chemistry team is the best in the world. They've, they've spent so much time refining this and making it something that is real. And uh, you know, I know when someone uses the product, they'll see that. So yeah, please leave that information below. I'd love to hear from you guys and see what your results were. And please leave you know, any questions or comments um, below as well. And we'd love to hear from you guys moving forward. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll talk to you guys soon.